I want to create a large-scale arena with thousands of AIs killing each other and continuously evolving in the process. And this is a showcase of the first phase of the project where I trained an AI to precisely shoot at a target. This is a cell, an AI agent that's controlled by a neural network that acts as a brain, making it behave like a living creature within our simulation. A cell can see everything around itself up to a certain radius. What the cell observes is fed as the input for the neural network. The neural network then generates a set of outputs based on the inputs. These outputs are then translated to actions that the cell performs. The three available actions include spin, which spins the cell around its center, thrust, that propels the cell forward, and finally fire, which fires a bullet in the direction the cell is pointed at. Each cell has its own energy, which decreases over time, and it dies when its energy reaches zero, and it can gain more energy by shooting at the crystal-shaped objects randomly scattered throughout the world. When a cell's energy surpasses a specific threshold, there's a chance it can replicate and generate a duplicate of itself in a different part of the world. This process enables the transfer of behaviors from one cell to its offspring. The only goal of the cell is to stay alive as long as possible. Here's what the simulation looks like with debugging info turned on. The circles you see around each object represents their collision area. This is a single cell in action. It's currently performing random actions as its brain has not matured yet. Let's accelerate the training process by using 5,000 cells placed randomly in the world, allowing them to explore and adapt to their environment. At this moment, all cells are executing random actions and occasionally by pure coincidence, some bullets strike the crystals extending the cell's survival briefly. However, there is no pattern to any of these actions. After a few minutes, the cells have developed a few patterns in their actions. To enhance their longevity, most cells have opted to conserve energy by staying still, while a few have begun to move in place, firing bullets randomly in an attempt to hit nearby crystals. Unfortunately, around an hour into the simulation, it appears that most of the cells have started following a pattern of moving to the right, eventually exiting the screen. To address this, I had to make a change that punishes the cells that have traveled continuously in a single direction. I've resumed the simulation again, and this time I've disabled any collisions that were not necessary so now the bullets can hit their target more easily. Here's the time-lapse video at 5x speed, with the camera tracking the best performing cell.
The cells can live longer now, and most of them can shoot at nearby crystals. But they still don't know when to shoot, and most of the bullets miss their target. To fix this, we'll give a penalty to cells that miss their shots. Approximately one hour into the simulation, it is evident that the cells have abandoned their continuous firing behavior. This change has resulted in a reduced crystal collection rate, but it has also extended their lifespan by conserving energy. Their current strategy involves approaching the crystals, aligning themselves with the crystal, and then initiating their firing sequence. I've been working on this project for about three weeks now, and in phase two of the project, I'm planning to introduce combat interactions between individual cells and a better UI that will help us better analyze the cells. Additionally, if the time permits, I also plan to implement a mechanism that empowers the cell's AI to configure various attributes like vision, fire rate, and health. I believe this will result in a more dynamic and adaptable simulation environment. Thanks for tuning in. If you liked the video, like the video. And subscribe to the channel to join me on this journey as I attempt to create an AI combat simulation. Your support is greatly appreciated, and I look forward to sharing more exciting updates in the future.